Software has become an integral part of our modern world, permitting various sectors like healthcare, finance, and more. The key question is that how can we develop high-quality software system that meet the needs and requirements from the users at the lowest cost? So software engineering comes in, and it is a branch of computer science in which engineering disciplines are applied to create software system that meet project requirements that are reliable and stay within the budget and timeline constraint. My name is Dr. Kla Tantitam Thawon, the Chief Examiner of the ITO 5136 Software Engineering. Welcome everyone to the unit. In this unit, you will learn about modern software development lifecycle, processes, tools, technologies. You will also gain practical experience in a range of software engineering activities, including project planning, requirement analysis, software design, software development, software quality assurance, and software testing. And by the end of the unit, I hope that you will be equipped with the knowledge and skills needed to tackle complex software projects and adapt to the ever-evolving landscape of technology, making them valuable assets in a wide range of the industry, from software companies to finance, healthcare, and more. We decided you need to follow the software development lifecycle. In the module one, you will learn about introduction to software engineering, different types of the software development processes. Then, how do you know that what features are going to develop? How do you know what the what the client needs? In the module two, you will learn about requirement engineering, starting from identifying stakeholders, eliciting the requirements in order to develop the product roadmap. And once we know what features are going to be in the software, then we're gonna learn about how to manage the project as well in the module three to ensure that you can deliver the most values to the customer. In module three, you will learn about agile project management, starting from project planning. Task prioritization and the story point estimation. Then, in module four, you will learn about software quality and testing. How to ensure that software that you develop is functionally correct and also of high quality. Different types of the software testing technique will be discussed in this module. And finally, in module six, you will learn about collaborative software development. We do not work in silo, but we have to work together as a team. In this module, you will learn how to use version control system, how to do the code review, and etc. And most importantly, how can we leverage the generative AI like ChatGPT to boost your productivity as a software engineer? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy.